And a very warm aloha to you on this Super Bowl Sunday. It is the 1st of February 2009 and we're looking at our Nano Lagoon, the simple inexpensive reef tank for responsible newbies. And it's a very exciting day in the evolution of our tank because we're looking at the beginnings of marine life on the rock and in the water column. It's been exactly 10 days since we shot the video called Responsible Rock and if you check back you'll see that the sand and rock had no life on them on that day 10 days ago and now what we have is evidence of a diatom bloom. We look carefully at the rocks and we see these brownish streaks. Those are made by millions of single-celled algae called diatoms which are ubiquitous in the marine environment and they are an early colonizer of bare substrates in the marine environment. And of course what we're trying to do here is replicate or recapitulate in our little ecosystem what happens out in nature when a bare substrate is introduced. Now we talked about what happens to the bottom of a boat, the stages of fouling that one observes in the tropics. The same happens when, for example, lava appears in the marine environment or when coral rock is dried out on the beach and then swept back into the intertidal zone. Uh, another example would be when a school of parrotfish passes over a reef. They literally bite chunks right out of the coral, like the big parietes heads, and they leave exposed areas of calcium carbonate. And if you look carefully what happens on those bare substrates, you see precisely this. First there is uh, appearance of a bacterial film, and then within a week or two you see diatoms. That gives rise to coralline algae and other forms of benthic life. But what we are trying to do in our nano lagoon is come as close as possible to that successional stage in successional series. And we have done that by adding a package of marine life. And this is something we produce here at Indo-Pacific Sea Farms. We call it the Nano Start, Nano Start Pack. And it consists of a, uh, an eight ounce cup of seawater to which we have added marine bacteria, diatoms, microphytoplankton, microzooplankton, and some nutrients to kick the whole thing off. And once you put that pack into your tank, you get some light and it takes off. Now, we're looking at ambient natural light here, which is coming in a couple of hours a day. Uh, the reason is that the light unit which we ordered didn't arrive on time and there were some issues that uh, we'll probably cover in another video, but we went ahead added that stuff anyway and lo and behold the diatom bloom has occurred. So we are where we want to be. One other thing we have done is go to our filter box and add a sheet of our coralline algae which we discussed in a previous video. We just took out the biomedia. We left in this sponge filter, took out the so-called biomedia, put in that coralline algae plate and that's right there so the water is cascading over it and giving the spores from that coralline algae a chance to spread around the whole tank. And we haven't seen any settle yet. We've actually cleaned the glass so we could do the video. But the rocks and the sand are showing evidence of what normally happens when one has a diatom bloom. Remember, the whole thing we're trying to do here is build our little ecosystem from the bottom up. That means starting with single-celled organisms, bacteria, protozoans, single cell plants, gradually introducing some multi-cell, multicellular organisms and uh, you know at this point when we have diatoms it means food is being produced in the tank so we want to get some organisms in there that will eat those diatoms and it's time to add an invertebrate pack with amphipods and mini stars and snails and worms and other cool things for the sand bed things that will begin to eat those diatoms and uh, produce some nitrogenous waste which will get this little ecosystem developing. It's a very exciting point in our nano lagoon and we're going to wind it up here. We'll talk more about this later, especially about artificial lighting, but hey, kickoff for the Super Bowl is in about an hour, so got to run. Aloha.